Welcome back everyone. If you just updated to the brand new Nintendo Switch software, which is 11.0, you'll basically see that we now have a new screenshot slash video sharing capability from any Nintendo Switch to our smartphone. So if you're somebody who takes a lot of screenshots, a lot of whatever, a lot of video gameplay things, and you want to send them over to your device, well now you can do that wirelessly without having to upload to Twitter or on Facebook or whatever people had to do before, or basically, you know, putting it in a micro SD card, sending it over to whatever. So the first thing we want to do, first of all, is take a screenshot, take whatever. So I'll just go ahead and take a screen capture of whatever this is, the home page. Now what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your albums. So if you have it here or wherever it is, you can go and find it. And once you do that, you want to find the specific photo or video that you want to send over. So in this specific case, we'll go ahead and send this one over to myself. So you want to go ahead and click on that, or you can also, you know, transfer, you know, click on it through there. And once you're here, you want to go and click the button or tap on the screen, and you'll see a new little option called Send to Smart Device. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click that, and you want to click A, and you want to figure out whether you want to select this individual photo, or you want to send multiple different photos. I think you can send up to 10 at one time. In this case, we'll just do this individual one, but the same process can be done for multiple different photos. So let's go ahead and select Select Individually, and you'll see a QR code that'll basically come up. So now what we want to do is as we have our QR code set up, we want to go into the camera app of our iPhone or, or Android phone or whatever. And all you want to do is just scan that QR code like this. You'll get a little pop-up right there. And you want to go ahead and click on it just like this. And you'll see this little pop-up, whether on Android or iOS, you want to go ahead and click join. Now it'll go ahead and prompt you to scan the Q next QR code. It'll take a couple seconds for it to register. And I do apologize if it's a little blurry, as you can see. And now all you want to do is do the exact same thing again. And as you can see, it'll go ahead and do a little bit of a pop-up again. You can go and click on it just like this. And you'll see that now we have this screenshot that we're able to go ahead and actually look at. So now what we'd want to do when we're here is go ahead and click on this specific image. And you can go ahead and do whatever you want to with it. But if you want to add it to your photos and save it onto your panel or save onto your phone, all you have to do is hold it down just like this. You'll see a little option called Add to Photos. You can go and click here. And you can go and swipe out and you will see that within your photos app wherever it is right here you'll see that we now have this photo right here that we just saved now i did it again earlier and as you can see it saved it and i just did it again and it saved it again so that's pretty much the process you can do it with as many photos as you want to and it just takes a couple seconds for it to actually happen so that's really pretty much it if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that means so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so it means so much if you guys can hit that also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything else. I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.